Hi everyone, I'm Chidi Anya DK, I'm a 13. I'm here with Dave Sayet, a 13 from Norwich, Connecticut. Here at Dartmouth, Dave is a government major and ethics minor. Dave, thank you so much for being here with me this morning. Thanks for having me. So you are related to someone who is really, really important to Dartmouth's founding? Uh, yes, uh, Sam Tanakam. The, uh, essentially, as I call him, one of the founders of Dartmouth. He's, you know, he raised most of the money for the college's charter and to get the college uh, up and running. And so I think it's really an honor to get to attend Dartmouth as, you know, as a senate of his. How are you exactly are you related to him? He's my great, 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 great uncle. As you can imagine, there are a lot of greats there because it was 1769. <laughs> yeah. So I know that your mother is the Mohegan medicine woman. And for the last few years, you've been doing research with Professor Green and Dr. Little with the Ethics Institute. Can you talk a little bit about that? That's been some of my main research on campus here for the last few years, essentially working with uh, the DHMC, Dartmouth Hitchcock, with doc on Dr. Little's side, and then the Ethics Institute on do uh, Professor Green's side. And we're kind of dealing with the intersection of uh, spirituality and you know, healthcare services. And so it's interesting, as you said, my mother's you know, a medicine woman. She's always told me you know, to respect other people's beliefs and traditions. And I think that in doing this research, I've really found that that's essentially what we're trying to do. We're trying to bridge the gap between religion, spirituality, and healthcare services, and how doctors interact with patients, and how they're kind of cognizant of what those patients' concerns or you know, cares might be with the way their child is being treated uh, in the neonatal intensive care unit specifically. So the title of the project is The Role of Religion in the Neonatal Intensive Care Unit. So have you guys found out anything really interesting or poignant so far? I think the most interesting thing recently we found is that, that kind of confirmed the research we've been doing, is that there is a lot of need for this kind of work and people, especially you know, nurses, doctors, really want to better understand where their patients are coming for so they can you know, give them the services they need while not unpinging on you know the, their belief systems or their values. So, for instance, you know, Jehovah's Witnesses are you know do not allow for blood transfusions, and so that can cause trouble, and you know that can lead to basically you know cessation of care, and you know end of end of it's an end of life decision. And there are a lot of those end of life decisions that are faced in the neonatal intensive care unit, and so you have to really respect people's different religions and where they're coming from, in, in order to make those decisions properly and to you know communicate with the parents. Uh, about those topics. And so last term we flew down to Tampa uh, and went to a conference which was really interesting. Uh, it was on perinatal care in particular and gave a talk on you know the ethics of the neonatal intensive mm -hmm. care unit and we found that there was a lot a, bit, a large demand for better resources for the caregivers uh, such as nurses, doctors, chaplains, anyone who's working in the the hospital facility. They wanted to know more about various religious backgrounds. Uh, the one that got the most support, the vocal support, was uh, uh, Muslims. There was about you know 80 something some odd percent of people want really wanted to have more training and background in uh, Muslim faith and how to approach uh, situations in the neonatal intensive care unit. And so we're kind of gearing our research in that direction to try and see you know how we can best adapt to the needs of the healthcare workers as we call them. Well, Dave, thanks so much for being here with me this morning. Best of luck with everything the rest of the spring term. Thank you again for having me.